Hi there, folks. Welcome back to Press for Truth TV. Today is Thursday, April 18th, 2013. And I wish I had some good news to report on today, uh, but the fact of the matter is, this whole week has just seen a whole string of events. Uh, terrible, terrible events going on in the world. Uh, obviously, the Boston Marathon bombing, uh, which recently took place, is still getting a lot of attention. Uh, from the mainstream media outlets, um, there's reports as well. Uh, last night, uh, you may have seen the footage online already, or on also on the mainstream, of a huge explosion at a fertilizer plant in uh, Waco, Texas. And uh, you know the bombings and the explosions have been getting a lot of uh, attention uh, from the mainstream. But a couple of things that uh, I wanted to point out today uh, that are certainly very troubling. Uh, you have the fact that gold is taking a huge uh, dive in the market, and that is certainly very troubling. But something else that is equally as troubling is the fact that just today, CISPA was passed in the House of Representatives. The Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act was just voted on today. And it's officially being passed, and now it is on its way to the desk of President Barack Obama to be signed into law. Here is an article out just today from RT. U.S. House of Representatives passes CISPA cybersecurity bill. The U.S. House of Representatives has passed the controversial Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act. Lawmakers in the House voted 288 to 127 Thursday afternoon to accept the bill. Next, it will move to the Senate and could then end up on the desk of U.S. President Barack Obama for him to potentially sign the bill into law. Earlier this week, though, senior White House advisors said that they would recommend that the President veto the bill. Should CISPA earn the President's autograph, private businesses will be encouraged to voluntarily share cyber threat information with the U.S. government. The authors of, uh, authors of the bill say this is an effort to better combat the reportedly increasing attempts to harm America's critical computer networks and to pilfer the systems of private companies for intellectual property and other sensitive trade secrets. And uh, indeed, the issues with intellectual property are being used to block the free flow of information, and we'll certainly get into that. But some of the other major issues with this bill is the fact that it would allow the government to monitor and track your online activity without having to obtain a warrant. You know, if, if CISPA is passed into law, is signed by President Barack Obama, different authorities within the government, whether it be the CIA or the FBI or, you know, local police departments, will be able to monitor your online activity if they want to. Look at what your Google searches are, read your emails without having to obtain a warrant. And that is one of the biggest uh, troubling, most troubling things with this bill. But in regards to intellectual property, that is another serious, serious issue with this bill. Because the fact of the matter is, as it is right now, uh, the internet is still pretty free and open. Um, we have the ability to share information online and um, the government certainly wants to find ways to be able to control how information is shared. Well, if this bill passes into law, um, they will have the ability to basically shut down any website by claiming that they have infringed upon copyrighted material or somebody's intellectual property. So, for example, if someone out there in the government was interested in, let's say, shutting down my website, Press for Truth, and uh, believe me, I think there's some certain um, people within the government who would like to see that happen, well, if CISPA is passed into law, all anyone would have to do is to claim that I have somehow infringed upon their copyrighted material, their intellectual property, at which point the website would be shut down, um, the government would have the ability to monitor everything I'm doing online without having to obtain a warrant, and it would be up to 
me to prove myself innocent in a court of law. Um, which a lot of people may very well be able to do. You could say, no, that material I used wasn't copyrighted. Or that particular news clip that I included in that video falls under fair dealings, and I have the right to comment on it as a uh, news outlet. And, um, but the problem with that is, though, as we know, the court systems are very slow, it often takes a lot of times to prove your a lot of time to prove your innocence in court. Um, so, the fact of the matter is, in the time that a website gets shut down, to the time that somebody may be able to prove their innocence, well, they may have already lost a bunch of customers, and 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 their whole business, their online business, could be destroyed in the meantime. Uh, so, no doubt, this is very very troubling for the free flow of information online. This is a new kind of internet that we may be very well soon seeing. So, you know, whether or not we can stop this, I just don't know. This has been the goals of the Obama administration for well over a year now, since uh, CISPA came up around this time last year. Um, so they've been working on this for quite some time. So if this bill when this bill ends up on the desk of President Barack Obama, it's likely that it's going to be signed into law. So the bottom line is, I mean, you, you, you can petition to 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 the government and to um, uh, you know for for Obama to veto the bill. Um, whether or not he's going to do that, I just don't know. But the bottom line is, right now the internet is still relatively free and open. So our chance, our window of opportunity to fight the new world order, to expose the globalists, to shatter their illusions that they are playing on the people to control the minds of the masses, is now. Right now is the time to get involved against the fight of the, in the new world order, because as we know, it may be becoming very much more difficult to do so in the very near future. So if you've ever found yourself kind of sitting on the fence, thinking I want to get involved in the movement, but, you know, I get so busy with my life and my job and my, you know, whatever, um, well, you might want to think about jumping in on the fight right now. Uh, if you've been sitting around saying, yeah, I've been meaning to do stuff, but I'll, I'll get to it, well, <laughs> the time is now. Uh, there may come a time very soon where we may not necessarily have the ability to spread information the way that we do right now. So again, um, if anything, this should be a wake-up call to people that you want to get involved in the fight against the New World Order, now is the time to do it. Because uh, the internet may not be as free and open as we see it now. So let's use this double-edged sword Let's use the system to fight the system while we still can. And uh, anyways, folks, it's just something I wanted to bring to your attention to today. As I said, it's not getting a whole lot of attention from the mainstream. They're all focusing on the bombings and the explosions. Um, but uh, this is one of the biggest threats to the freedom, the, the, the free flow of information online. Uh, so the time to get involved with the fight against the New World Order is now. There's no doubt about it. And uh, anyways, folks, just wanted to bring that to your attention today. I want to thank you all for tuning in once again. And I'll see everybody right back here tomorrow at PressForTruth.tv. Take care. If you think this message is important and should be viewed by others, please share it. Share it to Facebook, share it to Twitter. Also, be sure to like and favorite the video. By doing so, it will rise in listings and have the opportunity to be viewed by others. Help us get the message out to the national and international stage. And also please subscribe to this channel, The Truth is Well of Lies.